dear students in the section we are going to learn the application of the first law of thermodynamics for this purpose we are going to take few graphical problems and first we learn the application of first law of thermodynamics through graphical problem so let us take illustration number 1 in this illustration two moles of an ideal monoatomic gas undergo a cyclic process as shown in the figure you can observe here this is the tp diagram temperature versus pressure diagram and this is the cyclic process because this is a closed one okay and we are given a temperature relation that is 61 equal to 3 t2 equal to 2 t4 equal to t3 equal to 1800 kelvin so let us write the temperature relationship this is temperature relationship right now we can find the value of t1 equal to 1800 divided by 6 that is equal to 300 kelvin and this t2 equal to 1800 divided by 3 that is a 600 kelvin and this t4 is equal to 1800 divided by 2 that is a 900 kelvin and t3 of course is 1800 kelvin okay and this is the tp diagram right we have ideal gas equation that is pv equal to nrt right and we can write here t equal to pv divided by nr right and we can rearrange this equation we can write t equal to v divided by nr multiplication p right and you can observe here this line is y equal to mx type and this is also y equal to mx type okay and if v is constant in this equation here also you can write t is proportional to p that means you can observe here the slope of this line and this line is constant that means this term is constant here you know n r both are the constant term that means if slope is constant that means v is constant that means this process and this process is isochoric process that is a constant volume process this is the isochoric process and this is also isochoric process and we know well done in any process depend on the change in the volume if there is change in the volume there will be the well done if there is no change in the volume there will not be any well done and because it is a isochoric process this is also isochoric process that means the warden in this process and this process will be equal to zero that means out of the four process we have the two process where warden is equal to zero okay now let us take process number one that is a one to two process right you can observe here here the pressure is constant that means it is an isobaric process so here we can write w12 equal to p multiplied by v2 minus v1 right but we don't know the value of v2 and v1 but if we multiply p with v2 this term will become p v2 and this is equal to nrt2 and here if we multiply p with v1 this term will become p v1 and this is equal to nrt1 and if we take nr common that will be equal to t2 minus t1 right so this is the relation for the word n and here we know the value of t2 and t1 so let us substitute this value this is equal to 2 multiplied by r because number of the moles here is 2 2 moles of an ideal monoatomic gas so we can now substitute 2 multiplied by r and this is equal to 600 minus 300 and this value is equal to 600 r that is well done in process 1 to equal to 600 r now let us move to the process 3 to 4 it is again isobaric process and in isobaric process we can write here w 3 4 equal to p v 4 minus v 3 right now we can observe here again the same types of situation here we multiply p with v4 it is equal to p v4 and this will be equal to nrt4 and if we multiply p with v3 this term will become p v3 equal to nrt3 if we take nr common the term will become nr t4 minus t3 right 
now we can substitute the value of n equal to 2 t4 is equal to 900 and t3 is equal to 1800 so this is the substitution and if we solve this equation this is equal to 1800 minus 900 that is equal to 900 and there will be the minus term that will be equal to minus 1800 r so burden in the process 3 4 equal to minus 1800 r Okay. Now, we need to calculate here the total burden in the gas during the cyclic process and we have seen the burden in this process and this process equal to 0. That means, the total burden equal to the summation of this and this. So, we can write W total equal to 600 R minus 1800 R right? and this after solving we will get minus 1200 R. So, this is the total burden in the cyclic process. Now, let us take next illustration. In this illustration, monoatomic ideal gas is given right? and uh, number of the moles are 2 moles and uh, this is the cyclic process in V t diagram. The volume ratios are V b divided by V a equal to 2 that is the ratio of the volume at this position and this position is 2 and volume at this position and this position is 4 and temperature at this position is 27 degree centigrade and here we need to calculate the temperature of the gas at point B at this position and in the second part of the question we need to calculate heat absorbed or released by the gas in each process. That means this cyclic process consists of the four part and for each part we need to analyze whether the part is absorbing heat or rejecting heat. Okay? And in the C part, we need to calculate the total burden by the gas during the complete cyclic process and we need to express our answer in term of capital R. Okay? So, let us do one thing. Let us write the given quantity to the next space. What is given? The uh, ratio of the volume Vb is to Va equal to 2 and Vd is to Va equal to 4. It is given. Right? And it is also given number of the moles in the gas is 2 and it is the monoatomic gas and temperature of this point is 27 degree. Right? So, this 27 degree will be equal to 27 plus 273 that is the 300 Kelvin. So, let us write the given quantities. Okay? Now, we can write the ideal gas equation. We have ideal gas equation PV equal to NRT. Right? And if we observe here this line is if we extend this line this will pass through the origin that means this line is of y equal to mx. Right? You can observe the slope of this line is constant and if we write this ideal gas equation in this way v is equal to n r divided by p multiplied by t. This is the vt diagram. That means, if slope of this line is constant because n is constant, r is constant, if p is constant that means, v is proportional to t. Here is y is proportional to x. That means, slope will represent this quantity that means, p is constant for this process. That means, this process is the isobaric process. Okay? So, this is the isobaric process. Now, for this isobaric process V is proportional to T, we have proved that means we can write V A divided by T A equal to V B divided by T B. Right? Now, we can write the value of T B is equal to V B divided by V A multiplied by T A. Right? Now, we know the V B divided by V A equal to 2 or T A equal to 300 that means temperature of this position equal to 2 multiplied by 300 that is equal to 600 Kelvin. Okay? That means, we got the temperature at this position that is equal to 600 Kelvin. Now, let us move to the next part of the question. In next part of the question, we need to calculate heat absorbed or released by gas in each process. So, let us start moving one by one. Let us first analyze A B process. Right? You, you can observe here this line A V, if we extend this line, this line will pass through the origin. That means, the type of this line is y equal to m x right? and slope of this line is constant, but this line is plotted on the V t diagram. 
that is in place of y we have written v that the volume and in place of uh, x we have written t. And we have the ideal gas equation we have this equation P v equal to n R T. right. Now, we can write because on the y axis we have written v. So, we can write v equal to n r divided by p multiplication t. Okay? And slope of this line is constant that means this quantity should be constant. And we know n is the number of the moles constant, r is the gas constant, it is again constant and p is the pressure that means pressure for this process should be constant. That means, this process should be isobaric process. That means, A B process is the isobaric process. right? And for isobaric process, we can write the relationship of the heat absorbed or rejected by the gas. We have the formula Q equal to N C delta T. right? But this is isobaric process where pressure is constant, we should use C equal to C p. So, we can write Q p equal to N C p multiplication T b minus T a. Right? And we know the value of C p because this gas is monoatomic nature that means C p for this monoatomic equal to 5 by 2 r. Right? Now, we can substitute the value of C p that is the 5 by 2 r and in place of n that is 2 and this is equal to 600 and this is equal to 300. Now, we can solve this equation and this is equal to 1500 capital R. That is the positive value. Positive value means heat is added to the system or heat is absorbed by the system. That means, heat is injected to the system in this process that is a Q in. Now, let us move to the process B to C and B to C process you can observe temperature is constant and if temperature is constant that means B to C process is an isothermal process. right? And for the isothermal process you know delta U equal to 0 change in internal energy 0 and we have the first law of thermodynamics as Q equal to delta U plus W and if this value is equal to 0 that means Q equal to W. That means for the process BC we can write QBC equal to WBC, right? Because we know this delta U equal to zero. That means if we calculate the Verden in this process, that is the BC process, we can find the value of QBC. And we have a ready-made formula for calculating the Verden in the isothermal process. We know the formula W equal to nRTB natural log Vc divided by Vb that is the final volume divided by initial volume and we have n equal to 2 capital R is again gas constant Tb that is the temperature at process B or temperature at state B that is equal to 600 and this Vc divided by Vb that is the volume at this position and if we write volume at this position is V0 this should be equal to 2 V0 and this should be equal to 4 V0. That means, the volume at this process is equal to 4 V0 or and uh, volume at this process we know this is equal to 2 V0. So, we can substitute the value, right? We can write Va and uh, in term of V also. So, we can observe Va and Va will get cancelled and this final value is 1200 R natural log 2. It is again a positive value that means W equal to QBC and if Q is positive that means heat is added to the system that is heat is absorbed by the system that means there is Q in. right? Let us move to the next part. Now, let us analyze CD process. CD process is again isochoric process. Why isochoric? Because volume is constant. And for the isochoric process, we know Verden equal to 0 because change in the volume is equal to 0 and we have the first law of thermodynamics that is Q equal to N C V delta T and delta T equal to T D minus T C. That is the heat absorbed in this process can be represented by this expression. And we know this is a monoatomic gas that means C V equal to 3 by 2 R. right? 
now we can substitute the value of cv that is 3 by 2r and now we can substitute tc is equal to uh, this is c point and uh, tc is equal to isothermal because it is isothermal this should be equal to 600 and this is td is equal to 300 so now we can substitute the values this one and after solving we will get the relation that is equal to minus 900 r and this is negative value you can observe and if q is negative that means heat is rejected by the system and in this process heat is rejected right so we can make diagram like this heat is rejected that is q out right now let us move to the final process that is da process da process again isothermal process and in the isothermal process we have discussed already in the first law of thermodynamics delta u equal to 0 that means q da equal to w da and we have the formula for da that is the word in the isothermal process that equal to n r t d and natural log v final divided by v initial v final is v a and v initial is equal to v d now we can substitute the values right and after solving we will get this equal to 600 r and natural log 1 by 4 and this is equal to minus 1200 because this can be written as 2 to the power 2 and this is in denominator that means we can write here minus 1200 r natural log 2 right and this negative sign represent heat is rejected by the system okay now let us consider the comp complete process and in the complete process we need to calculate here total work done by the gas during the complete process right and we know this is a cyclic process and if it is a cyclic process that means we have the first law of thermodynamics that is q equal to delta u plus w right and for the cyclic process this is equal to 0 that means q equal to w that means we can calculate the total burden in the cyclic process by adding the heat in the part a b b c c d and d a so let us add the heat to the each and every part and this is equal to summation and this summation finally lead to this value that is equal to 600 r that is the well done by the system.